I sing to him that rests below. And since the grasses round me wave, I take the grasses of the grave and make them pipes whereon to blow. The traveller hears me now and then, and sometimes harshly will he speak. This fellow would make weakness weak and melt the waxen hearts of men. Another answers, let him be. He loves to make parade of pain, that with his piping he may gain the praise that comes to constancy. A third is wrath. Is this an hour for private sorrow's barren song, when more and more the people throng the chairs and thrones of civil power? A time to sicken and to swoon, when science reaches forth her arms to feel from world to world, and charms her secret from the latest moon. Behold, ye speak an idle thing, ye never knew the sacred dust, I do but sing because I must, and pipe but as the linnets sing. And one is glad, her note is gay, for now her little ones have ranged. And one is sad, her note is changed, because her brood is stolen away. The path by which we twain did go, which led by tracts that pleased us well, through four sweet years arose and fell, from flower to flower, from snow to snow. And we with singing cheered the way, and crowned with all the season lent, from April unto April went, and glad at heart from May to May. But where the path we walked began to slant the fifth autumnal slope, as we descended following hope, there sat the shadow feared of man, who broke our fair companionship, and spread his mantle dark and cold, and wrapped thee formless in the fold, and doled the murmur on thy lip, and bore thee where I could not see, nor follow, though I walk in haste, and think that somewhere in the waste the shadow sits and waits for me. Now sometimes in my sorrow shut, or breaking into songs by fits, alone, alone to where he sits, the shadow cloaked from head to foot, who keeps the keys of all the creeds, I wander, often falling lame, and looking back to whence I came, or on to where the pathway leads, and crying, how changed from where it ran, through lands where not a leaf was dumb, but all the lavish hills would hum the murmur of a happy pan, when each by turns was guide to each, and fancy light from fancy caught, and thought leapt out of wed with thought, ere thought could wed itself with speech. And all we met was fair and good, And all was good that time could bring, And all the secret of the spring Moved in the chambers of the blood. And many an old philosophy On Argive heights divinely sang, And round us all the thicket rang To many a flute of Arcady. And was the day of my delight as pure and perfect as I say, the very source and fount of day is dashed with wandering isles of night. If all was good and fair we met, this earth had been a paradise, it never looked to human eyes since our first sun arose and set. And is it that the haze of grief makes former gladness loom so great? the lowness of the present state that sets the past in this relief, or that the past will always win a glory from its being far, an orb into the perfect star we saw not when we moved therein. I know that this was life, the track whereon with equal feet we fared, 
And then, as now, the day prepared, the daily burden for the back. But this it was that made me move, as light as carrier birds in air. I loved the weight I had to bear, because it needed help of love. Nor could I weary, heart or limb, when mighty love would cleave in twain, the lading of a single pain, and part it, giving half to him. Subscribe for more Tennyson. Who was that? It was poetry from the Shires. So, subscribe. Thank you.